Hello everybody, what is going on? Sean here with Zero to Income and today what I want to do is walk you through how to add a floating action button in system.io. And this is something if you wanted to, you could actually probably use in any website. It's just using CSS. But what I wanted to focus on is how to add it to a website in system.io. And what a floating action button is, is this button right up here in the top right hand corner. What I've got it right now is I've got it set up as a schedule of service button that I've created for a service-based business template that I've been working on. As a general rule with our templates that we want to create, we want to have a call to action over here on the right. And so, and as, and then from there, you want to have that call to action pop up throughout your website. So right here, if we scroll down, we've got call to action, same call to action here. And then as we build this site out, same call to action here, here, et cetera, et cetera. And these are all different sections of this service-based template. But what I wanted to do was show you how we could actually create a schedule of service button. They would always be right here. So watch as I scroll down. That button is always right there. Schedule of service, always right there. And so it takes this idea of having it in the top right hand corner one step further where it stays there. Now we could have created a sticky uh, menu here where it just kind of sticks there no matter what. And as you scroll, everything scrolls underneath it. I'm not a fan of that, um, but this floating action button though, that takes that and allows us to have a nice clean interface and still have that button always available up there in that top right hand corner. All right, so let's walk through and show you actually how we do this. So here's the service-based website template that I've been working on. And we want to pop this uh, floating action button. They're called FABs, F-A-B, uh, Frank Alpha Bravo, a FAB. We want to put this floating action button right up here. And how we do that is we go over here to our elements and we go to raw HTML. And we're just going to pop it at the very, very top. We're going to pop some code in here, and this is code that I'll have available for you to um, download and use yourself. But we're going to go up here in this raw HTML element, and we're going to click on that, and we're going to click on edit code over here in the far left, and we're going to take out that system.io heading, and we're going to pop in our code. So this is all of the code that's going in there that's going to give us that button in the top right-hand corner, right? We click on save, and there it is. Okay, now to make this your own and you make it your own color, if we go back over here and we click on this, we go to edit code. What we're looking for here is background color right here. So um, right here is the background color. So right now it's green. If we wanted to, we could make this a different color. Let's go ahead and make it the uh, system IO blue that kind of, that's kind of standard for a system IO interface. I'm going to do a control V and paste that in. Actually, we got an extra panel that we don't need. And I'll click on save and now it's blue, right? And it's going to fluctuate to orange, which uh, is fine. Okay, so that's how you would change the color. Now, the next thing here is I've got some help text right now showing up. And what you'll notice here is it looks kind of ugly right now. Uh, again, when we pop that over, it's still kind of over it. Um, but if we click on the eyeball and do a preview, let me click out of that, see how it looks there. Okay, so looks a lot better there. So let's go back over here. And if you want to change this to a different thing, uh, maybe it's schedule a call, maybe it's schedule a session, you know, whatever you wanted to do here. Okay, you would click over here and click on the raw HTML element. Click on edit code again. And then once we're in here, what we're looking for is the tooltip text, which is right here. Okay, so you can do schedule a service, schedule a session. Okay, and then we could do save. Now, the next thing you might want to do is you might want to change the, the icon in the middle. Right now, it's a calendar icon for scheduling. And if we go back over here to our code, click on the raw HTML, edit code. Right in here, it's pulling the code from a website called Font Awesome. Uh, they typically are mobile friendly. And again, it just pulls, you can pop the code right into icons and things like that on their website. So 
how do we change the code here? We literally just go over to fontawesome.com. And then once there, we're going to do a search and then whatever you're looking for. Uh, let's just say, again, that we're looking for something for reviews. Okay. And so a, a good icon for reviews would be a star. Okay. And here I had kind of a regular, but I think I'm going to do a light. Click on that. We're going to use this HTML code and literally just going to click on this and do copy code. And it's been copied. Okay. So just hover over it and click it and it'll copy it. All right. So now we're going to go back here. I'm going to actually just exit out of this completely. We're going to come back here and right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this in and I'm going to copy this. I'm going to actually cut it, copy to my clipboard. We're going to click on save and there it is. Now we have a star for a review. All right. Now the next thing you're going to want to do with this floating action button is make it go somewhere. So right now it's set up. It's not, it's not set to go anywhere at all. Um, but maybe if you want it to go to a page where they can leave a review, you would put that link in here. Uh, if you wanted it to go to your calendar to schedule a service or schedule a session, you'd have that link in there. And here again is how you would do it. You would go over here, click on the raw HTML, click on the edit code. And right here at the very top, where this hashtag is, where this pound sign is, that's where you put the code. HTTPS www dot or forward slash forward slash www dot zero to income dot com. Okay, you're going to do save and then we'll do save changes. And then once again, we're going to do a preview. And when I click on it, it took us to zero to income. All right. So we've got that all done. What I will do again, I'll have a link in the description down below that's going to, you can go ahead and click on and grab that code. You can copy the code. It's going to be in a Google doc for you to copy, and then you can use it on your site and then tweak it as needed. Uh, that's it for today, everyone. Thanks for watching.